Hello everyone and welcome to another lecture on vector algebra. So in our last lecture we learned what is scalar triple product. So in this particular lecture we learned what is vector triple product. So we have to take three vectors a bar, b bar and c bar. Then a bar cross b bar cross c bar or we can write like this a cross b cross c is a what? Vector triple product. So I think you still remember in scalar triple product it should be like that a dot but here it is a cross so this is one vector okay the b bar cross c bar is another vector because cross product of two vector is another vector so this is one vector this is another vector and cross product of two vector is a what is a vector triple product right vector triple product now let us uh, see some properties so a cross b cross c is written like this so this formula is important a dot c into b see there is no dot no cross a dot c into b minus a dot b into c so how to remember this first dot last into second minus first dot second into last so you can prove this okay let us take suppose a bar is one vector b bar is another vector and c bar is another vector then if you find left hand side and right hand side separately then you'll get the answer but it's a uh, long procedure so that's why the proof part I am skipping here. Then second property is vector triple product is a vector quantity. So just now I told that, okay, A bar is a vector, A bar is vector, B cross C is also a vector, and between two vectors there is again cross product. So we know that cross product of two vectors is a vector quantity. Then another property is like this, uh, unit vector coplanar to A bar and B bar, and perpendicular to what? C bar. So suppose this is C bar, this is C bar, and suppose this is A bar cross B bar. Or we can, uh, so in, in this particular plane, no? In this particular plane, this is the plane. So what is given? Unit vector coplanar to A bar and B bar. So it's better to write like this, don't use A cross B. Okay, suppose this is one plane. So in this particular plane, we have two vectors, suppose A bar and also what? B bar. So A and B in this are uh, lie in this particular plane and C bar is perpendicular to the plane. So if we want to find a vector which is perpendicular to C bar, but the unit vector uh, lie in the plane where both A bar and B bar is there. So it will be like this, A plus minus A cross B cross C modulus of A cross B cross C like this. And this is another important property, A cross B, B cross C, box product of A cross B means scalar triple product, right? Scalar triple product of A cross B, B cross C and C cross A is what? Box A bar, B bar, C bar, whole square. So we can prove this also, but you see, it will be what? A cross B, so A cross B dot and then B cross C cross C cross A. So I'll suggest you to prove it. If I get a little time, then I'll uh, try to prove it. Okay, now let us take some example. We have to show that uh, A cross, so how to prove it? So let us take the left hand side. So left hand side is A cross, is a vector triple product. So what is the formula? First dot last, right? First dot last into second minus first dot second into last. Okay, first dot second into last. So this is our left hand side. Uh, so this is the formula. Now let us start from the left hand side. A cross, then R bar cross A bar. So here I am writing the vector table product formula. So this is cross product of two vectors. This is one vector, this is another vector. So we know that cross product is not commutative. So we can write like this. R bar cross A bar. Okay, or let us take it from the right hand side, then it will be, looks a little easy from right hand side. A bar cross R bar cross A bar is equals to, since this is uh, cross product is not commutative, so if we want to reverse it, we have to give one minus sign, A bar cross A bar cross R bar, okay. 
सो इट्स लाइक लाइक दिस ए क्रॉस बी ए क्रॉस बी इज माइनस बी क्रॉस ए माइनस ना विल यूज दिस फॉर्मूला ओके दिस फॉर्मूला सो इट विल बी वट फर्स्ट डॉट लास्ट इन टू सेकेंड माइनस फर्स्ट डॉट सेकेंड इन टू वट लास्ट सो दिस इज इक्वल्स टू ना वी मल्टीप्लाई बोथ द टर्म विद दिस नेगेटिव साइन सेकेंड टर्म विल कम फर्स्ट माइनस ए डॉट आर इन टू वट ए बार दिस वैक्टर कैन यू रेट लाइक दिस ए बार क्रॉस आर बार क्रॉस ए बार सो सी फर्स्ट डॉट लास्ट इन टू सेकेंड दिस विल दिस विल कम फर्स्ट डॉट सेकेंड इन टू लास्ट दिस विल कम सो दिस इज नथिंग बट वट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड साइड बाई यूजिंग द एंटीकोमेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट आंसर कम सो इज वेरी इजी दिस इज अनदर इजी एग्जाम्पल सो लेट एस टेक द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ए क्रॉस बी क्रॉस सी बी क्रॉस सी क्रॉस ए एंड देन सी क्रॉस ए क्रॉस बी वॉट यू टू शो दैट इज जीरो बार सो हियर वी कैन यूज स्केलर ट्रिपल प्रोडक्ट एस ए वेक्टर ट्रिपल प्रोडक्ट फॉर्मूला सो इट विल बी फर्स्ट डॉट लास्ट इन टू सेकेंड माइनस फर्स्ट डॉट सेकेंड इन टू लास्ट ओके दिस इज वन फॉर द सेकेंड वन अगेन फर्स्ट डॉट लास्ट इन टू सेकेंड माइनस फर्स्ट डॉट सेकेंड इन टू लास्ट दिस इज फॉर द सेकेंड वेक्टर ट्रिपल प्रोडक्ट एंड फाइनली द लास्ट वन फर्स्ट डॉट लास्ट into second minus first dot second into last so if you observe carefully you will uh, cancel the term a dot c into b okay a dot c into b and then c dot a into b so we know that dot product is commutative so a dot c and b dot c same these two term will cancel out then a dot b these two will cancel out and finally this will cancel out so answer is how much zero bar Okay, so it's very very easy. If you know the formula, then it's very easy. Now this is another simple problem. I can, I cap cross a bar cross I cap. Similarly, there are two other terms. What we have to show? We have to show that answer is two a bar. So let us suppose that a bar is equals to mm, a one I cap plus a two j cap plus a three k cap. So let us find this term first. A bar cross I cap. We can do it in a in a different way also. No problem. So if we uh, suppose a one I cap plus a two j cap, a three k cap. So here we'll use cross product formula. We know that I cap cross I cap is zero, right? Then j cross I. So it's in reverse order. So it will be minus a two k cap. Then it's k i. K i is how much? K i is j cap, right? With this particular term, what we have, we have i cap. So i cap cross a bar cross i cap. So it's i cap cross minus a two k cap plus a three j cap. So if we do the cross product, what we'll get now? See i cross k again. It is after i j should be there. So it's reverse order. So it will be minus j cap. So already one minus is there. Another minus will come. So it will be a two j cap, and then i cross j is k a three k cap. Now it's very easy to remember. See if i is there on the right hand side, you don't see any i. J and k will come. So in the similar way, now on left hand side. So in place of this first term, what we write a two j cap plus a three k cap plus in the second term j is there, right? So j will not come. What we'll get a one i cap. Similarly, we are writing this a three k cap, and for the third term, k will not come. A one i cap plus a two j cap. So see, each term occurs twice. So you can write two into a one i cap plus a two j cap plus a three k cap. So it's nothing but two a bar. Okay. Okay. Now let us find the value of this particular problem. Is i cross j cross k 
j cross k cross i. So either we use vector triple product formula or by simply using cross product formula also you can find it. So you can do this problem in cross product also but though it looks like vector triple product so I am including here. So j cross k, j cross k is how much i kept right and then it's k cross i, k cross i is what j k. So we know that same same unit vector dot product is how much, sorry cross product is how much, and 0. Or if you want to use that particular formula, then it will be what? First dot, first dot last into second minus first dot second into last. So it will be a little bit big, right? Two term will be there again from here, first dot last into second minus first dot second into last. So i cross k, i cross k will be what? Two different vector dot product is 0. So this will become 0, this will become 0, this will become 0, this will become 0. So it's how much? 0. So either by using cross product formula or by using this vector triple product formula, we can get the answer. Okay, so let us take one another problem this problem is interesting you see a bar b bar and c bar are three vectors such that modulus a bar modulus b bar and modulus c bar is given and one another result is given a cross b bar plus c bar okay a cross it should be cross no? a bar cross b bar cross a bar a bar cross a bar cross b bar plus c bar equals to how much zero we have to find the acute angle between a bar and b bar so for that, first let us find the dot product of a bar dot b bar. So a bar dot b bar is how much? Modulus a bar, modulus b bar and what? Cos theta. So what is theta? Theta is the angle between, angle between a bar and b bar. So modulus a bar is 1, modulus b bar is 2, so it will be 2 cos theta. Okay. Now let us take the particular result, what is given? given a bar cross then a bar cross b bar plus a bar equals to how much zero bar so we, here we write vector triple product formula first dot last into second minus first dot first into first dot second into last plus a bar is equals to how much zero bar a dot b okay a dot b a dot b we just now find 2 cos theta a bar and a dot a we can write mod a whole square b bar and this is not a bar this is c bar right okay, c bar sorry this is c bar c bar now let us take this c bar on the right hand side okay. now if we uh, write one more line 2 cos theta a bar Modulus a bar is 1, so it will be only b bar equals to minus c bar. Now, in the next step, what we will do? We will square it on the both sides, squaring both sides. So, if we square it both sides, it is like a minus b whole square. So, what we will get? 4 cos square theta mod a whole square plus mod b whole square minus twice a b, not 4 cos theta a bar dot b bar. On the right hand side, you will get modulus c whole square because uh, minus will vanish due to square. So this term is 4 cos square theta, modulus a is 1, mod b is 2, so it will become 4, then 4 cos theta and a dot b is how much? 2 cos theta. And on the right hand side, you have modulus c, modulus c is again I guess 1, yes. So it will be 1. So how much will get 4 cos square theta? plus 4 minus 8 cos square theta equals to 1. So after cancelling minus 4 cos square theta plus 4 equals to 1. If we take 4 common, 1 minus cos square theta is equals to 1. This implies 4 sin square theta equal to 1. Sin square theta equals to 1 by 4. We have to take the equate angle, now find the equate angle. So let us take the positive one. So this implies theta equals to how much? 30 degree pi by 6. Okay. So, so vector triple product is very easy. So I have included some examples here. 
so i hope you will do some more problems from your side and uh, thank you for watching the whole video